Porter, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I, I'm, I'm confused. We in the United States are the number one producer of natural gas in the world. We're a net exporter of natural gas. We export over 3 million barrels of crude oil a day. And the bulk of our production isn't on federal or public lands. So I, I guess I fail to see the problem that you're trying to solve here, Mr. Graves. Methane waste is methane waste. It's bad. We should stop it, period, full stop. There is not an energy production crisis in this country or in the world. And I say this to you as a single mom who joyfully pays her energy bill every month, I've never had energy bills this low in the 10 states I've lived in. Whether that's because of a combination of temperate climate or green energy, we appreciate you in California trying to rescue us from fresh air and you know freedom from cancer, but we're doing just fine. And the bottom line here is we in the United States are net exporters of oil and gas. This is not genuinely about Incre about stopping foreign dependence on oil, uh, stopping U.S. dependence on oil and gas. We export oil. We export gas. I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Does any other member well, seek recognition? Well, somebody yield me time. Yes, uh, Ben is here, and I'll yield my time to Mr. Graves. Wait, who who's, who seeks recognition? Uh, Cliff Benz. Uh, gentleman's recognized. I yield this my time to Mr. Graves. Gen Thank you, Madam. Gentleman's Chair. recognized. Thank you. Um, I, I appreciate the, the gentleman from California's comments, and, and let me see if I can I can explain this uh, a little better. I apologize that uh, I wasn't clear earlier. Um, so, so there is a global demand for energy. Okay, there's a global demand for energy, and so if the United States and and, and let me let me actually put a finer point on that. That global demand for energy is going to increase fifty percent between now and 2050. The, the global demand for natural gas alone is going to increase 40% by 2050. And so if the United States has the highest environmental standards, if we have lower emissions profiles compared to other countries, does it make sense globally for that energy production to occur in the United States? Or does it make more sense for it to be produced in other countries, supplied by other countries, that has a dirtier emissions profile that results in greater global emissions. Um, for example, if we were to supplant all of the European gas that, that, that currently supplied by Russia, uh, then, then that would result in, a, in about seven, 70 uh, ton reduction, I'm sorry, million ton reduction in greenhouse gases. 70 million ton reduction in, in, annually in greenhouse gases. So, so do we care about the global environment? The argument that we're a net exporter, so we should stop. D does that mean if we make more computers here than we consume, that we should stop? It, d d no, that doesn't make sense. We, we have a trade deficit. This helps to offset the trade deficit. The, the, so so let me see if I can explain it one more time. We produce it more environmentally sensitive. We have a lower emissions profile. There's growing global demand and there's no product that we export that we say, oh, no, no, we're exceeding our demand of consumption in the United States. So let's stop because we don't want any more jobs or economic activity here. No, no, let's let's build a wall and, and, and encase our economy and not do anything anywhere else. That doesn't make sense. So it's better for the environment. It's better for the economy. And, 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 and it helps to address our trade deficit. It doesn't conversely play into the hands of Russia a military adversary, China, a military adversary, an economic adversary that pirates our technology and steals our jobs. So, so I, I hope that makes more sense now and, 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 it, and it explains why this amendment makes sense and, and folks should vote for it. I yield back to Mr. Benz. Mr. Benz, do you yield back? I yield back, Madam Chair. Gentlemen, yields 